we all need reminding at times about the true meaning of things. Years ago, some people felt we had strayed from the true meaning of Memorial Day. Instead of honoring our fallen heroes, too many people saw the day only for cookouts and lakeside parties. And that's why Carry the Load was created. Tonight, our own Stephanie Esquivel begins a three-part look at that organization and how it's grown into a nationwide walk to commemorate service and sacrifice. It's bigger than I think anyone ever anticipated it would be. Stephen Hawley is one of the two Navy SEALs who founded Carry the Load back in 2011. We needed an outlet for a way to celebrate Memorial Day and having lost some friends, it was, you know, there was pain, there was anger, there was frustration. In 2010, his comrade Clint Bruce was at a Memorial Day barbecue. Dealing with some, you know, the sadness and the emotions of losing some friends that you'd serve with. Already in agony, Bruce needed an outlet. There was no, um, no observance, no talk, no discussion on what Memorial Day was really about. And that was really the catalyst for um, him putting on a backpack, a rucksack, going out to White Rock Lake the following morning, Memorial Day, and just walking. While trying to purge emotional pain with physical pain, Bruce came across a Korean veteran who asked him who he was carrying the load for. When Bruce shared the story with Holly, they both knew they had to come up with a way for others carrying the same load to vent. We could come out and uh, observe that holiday in a, in a meaningful way. But the duo also wanted to extend that help to those coping with heartache year round. You know, use it as a way to raise money for nonprofits that were still serving, that were serving military veteran, and then shortly thereafter we included law enforcement, fire and rescue. Because that agony can be deadly. In 2018, there were over 5,000 veteran suicides, and that's, that's terrifying. Um, and first responders, there were more first responders who died by suicide than in the line of duty. One of the nonprofits benefiting from those funds is Sheepdog, an organization founded in Arkansas. We uh, are here to engage, empower, and uh, assist our nation's uh, veterans and first responders. The group organizes disaster relief missions and outdoor outings for soldiers and first responders who are coping with emotional distress. We're, we're helping these people who, you know, maybe have lost their purpose. Star McCann says through the organization, men and women build a network of peer counseling. People who haven't experienced the same things that you have um, in combat, in, in military, that life, they can't relate. A sense of belonging that gives them the hope and comfort they need to keep on living. For some people, it just gives them you know, that get up and go, that drive again. Sheepdog uses the funds raised by Carry the Load to keep the program running, but McCann says the group's relationship with Carry the Load is mutually beneficial because their goals are the same, to honor the heroes who were lost and to encourage and praise the heroes that still stand. In Little Rock, Stephanie Esquivel, THV 11 News. One of the Carry the Load groups will walk through Central Arkansas on Tuesday. Its members encourage everyone to join them in their mission to restore the significance of Memorial Day. Now, in tomorrow's segment, we'll meet an Arkansas woman who's been carrying the load for years.